Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, normally it's a cooking with Kev or something like that, but this is completely different. Um, this is a proper thank you to uh, the channel that we all know, Chris the Butcher and Friends. Now what I did do is that I knew he was overloaded with uh, air fryers. So cheekily me, I said to him, um, let me have one. What one? Mine's old and rugged and desperate. Let me have one that you've got. And he went, yeah, I'll sort you out one. Then the other day, he uh, got in touch and he went, I'm not sending you an old one. I'm, I bought you a new one. My God, what sort of person does that? It, it's, it's humbled me. It's, it's really made it special. So, uh, what he's bought me is the Kasori 5.5 litre, which means the death of our whatever that is. It's like a miniature squash down Dalek. But this is what the man's bought us, and um, I appreciate it so much. It's not the first thing that um, they've given us. And so I want to go into the story about that a little bit. Um, we didn't do any vlogs and all that. It was just about mates meeting up and, and I don't know, it was whatever. But on that meet up, um, when Lou got a big package, she offered, or I asked, or I said, I would like the um, Vax Hoover. And yet again, they... Didn't want no money for it, no nothing. But the only way of, um, of exchanging, because we met at Alton Towers, which, you know, that was our day. That's not going to be part of this. Is uh, at the end of the day, um, obviously, we were staying at Alton Towers. So we uh, picked up the Hoover from the car. And then they soon drove off and... The joke before they drove off was uh, people are going to be looking at you and saying, what the bloody hell hook of that did you win that from? Because it's quality what they give us. So I'll show you. This is how it was. I left the car like this. All happy smiles because we're getting on the monorail. So Chris... Low family drive off. I've got this on my shoulder. I thought, no, that's all right, we just get on the monorail and it takes you dock. It's a good half mile down the road. And then we got to the monorail. It was like an hour and a half queue to get down the road. We're not waiting half a mile and I thought, oh, sorry, I'll just keep. So I kept strolling down the road like this. I was knackered by the end of it. God, you know what, two minutes before he left, because once you go out of Alton Towers in a car park, you can't just call people back in because it's such a rigmarole. God, if only he could have driven us down the road. So I had to walk down the road like this. Oh my God, it was painful because it's quite a weighty machine. And that's, that's, um, with Lou's unboxing when she done the box and because I said I wanted it, yet again, I didn't want nothing for it. And so I'll come back to the Kasori now machine, which forever, all the time I'm using that machine, it's not the Kasori no more. And tribute to the way you take gifts, Chris, that in my household will always be known as the Chrysori. And that is it. Every time I'm cooking it, it is the Chrysori. And I'm going to do in it my first cook because it failed so much from the arson's shambles, which was not your fault. Um, this has not actually got the um, Japanese, is it Japanese? Wagyu. Wagyu. In, in, this is British Wagyu. 
Right, so if you look close, and then I'll read it. Right, so it's a. Uh, you can't really see it. Stay still. Full blood wagyu balls from famous Japanese bloodlines crossed with iconic British brief breeds, such as Aberdeen Angus, Shorthorns, Hereford, and Highland cattle. So I'll take it that Wagyu will send the cows over, but they won't let them breed them together. So then it's total Wagyu. So Japanese have got the highlight. Now the big, biggest bit about this, does that make sense? Right, what I'm saying is, is that why when they sent over the Wagyu cows, didn't they just breed the Wagyu's together? So it must be that the Wagyu actual beef, they don't want to um, um, interbreed in their own country. So the only way they do it over here, they probably send it over a female or male. And the only way you can um, make a slight Wagyu is by interbreeding it with the animals you got. Moment of truth. Now, I did leave Chris a comment on this, and I said, "Is it because in Iceland they they freeze stuff?" But what's funny about this box? You know, when you buy meat anywhere, you can look at it. This is sealed. That doesn't give me confidence. But here we go. Just open it up. Put it out. I'm, I'm expecting to see that. Oh, well, I'm not really with what Chris showed me, but this is meant to be fresh. That's brown again. That is not right. How are they getting away with this? That is false advertisement. Oh, no. That has annoyed me because I actually thought that because of Iceland's fry stuff, Fry stuff, throw, freeze stuff. And that's why it's out brown. But how can they do that? All right, hello. I'm going to put it in the air for I admit. I'm not ready right now, so see in a bit. Well, I'm going in with the British Wagyu. Um, I don't know if you can look closely. Um, I don't know when beef has had herbs in it, so they've they've enhanced it somehow as well. Um, I've not got high hopes for this. Now, in Morrison's, and the only reason why I bought it is because my question was, is when Chris said yesterday, um, is it because it's been defrosted, refrozen, defrosted, refrozen? I'm starting to think, no, that's not the reason. Now, I'll tell you the truth. And only because I was interested in... And it's funny that it come in a sealed, sealed box, so you can't look at the burger. That was in a sealed box, and it still looks shit. And it's got flavourings in it. So I'm going to go in first it with the cassori. There's hope. No, the cassori. Sorry. We're going to turn it on. And I'll just go 15 minutes. Press play. And I don't know if it's going to take 15 minutes, but that's how easy the air fryer is. See you in a bit. So, uh, with the uh, Wagyu British one, I thought uh, I'll get my favourite rolls, which are banging. Or baps. Cheese and onion ones from Morrison's. Oh, if you haven't tried them, give them a go. Now, I'm, I'm still on a diet, so one of these is getting used today. I don't know how the rest of them are getting used. I don't like to waste food, but I'm just trying to make this video so it's a, as best as what it possibly could be. But because one burger was four quid and I've just looked at that, I was a joke. Th this firm, whoever they are, I've never heard of them before, until recently every review I've seen 
has been dismal. So, uh, see you in a bit. Sorry, machine's on the go. It's first go on actually cooking what I thought would be a fantastic bur burger. It still might be, but it just doesn't look appetising. And I only thought when Chris the Butcher had done his ragu burgers, it was because they was frozen, not frozen. Uh, just look shit, basically. He said they tasted all right, but come and buy cheap with burgers. What's the point? So, seriously, if I can to show you and this is burgers cost me four pounds is it worth it I, I already know the answer I think you all do but I'll give it a go in a second so it's a I don't know how I'm filming this if this is going to be upside down or what maybe go that way um, so, it's just six minutes left, I've got the urge to have a look and maybe turn over, I don't know if I need to. Um, it hasn't shrunk, not like Chris's. Mm. It's looking actually pretty good. I right, am going to turn it over. I don't know if I need to because it's an air fryer and there is a drip tray. So I'm going to turn it over. Didn't need to because, as you can see, the bottom's cooking too. And I'm going to keep it going. Mm -hmm. Not for the six minutes. Probably another two minutes and then that's coming out. Bread rolls prepped and I didn't pause it so um, whatever happened now go along with it but either way as you can see that My lovely good. classic plates with me Wagyu British Wagyu burger. Got to do this one added. What did you see it? So what we'll do, we're going to take a bit off. A bit of that. Right, I've just tasted that. Tastes like a cheap burger to me. As you've just seen, I've tried a bit of the burger. It just tastes like a cheap burger. Are you willing to have a bite? I've dropped it in half. I'm interested because there's nothing special about that at all. It's spent four pounds on that one burger. And that the only reason why I've done that is because I thought the fresher ones would be um, looking like the packet. I can't make up my mind whether I like it or not. It's, it's just a cheap burger taste. Mm. It's okay, you know what I mean? You go to a barbecue, that's what you get. 
with that one burger shared with my missus was four quid. I, don't, I can't even pronounce the name of them. Voy, voy, voy. I don't even know what that means. But I'm telling you now, by pretty packaging, they know that they're in the game for about six months because they'll be gone. That is shit. It tastes like a good burger. The same as, exactly the same as what Chris said. You can buy the same sort of flavour, same sort of burger from Iceland, Morrison's, not Iceland's, Morrison's and get the cheaper range and it'd be exactly the same. There's nothing fantastic about that. And that one burger, cost me four pound um, but as for the f first burger in the Chrisori um, right to do it that way because I actually thought the fresher ones would look like what they say on the tin no they don't it's bollocks fucking buff out of it love you all see you later